a Vita is a highly expandable system. A Vita controls its video servers over a network. A Vita can be a single control panel controlling four server ports, even one or two server ports. But a Vita can expand to 32 server ports and multiple panels. The Avita system has databases accessible by multiple operators. We have sophisticated search functions. We can export XML files, import XML files, and we can build an automation system, or we can build this most straightforward of clip editing system. Avita has two main components, the hardware side of Avita and the software side of Avita. The hardware side is an evolution from our expertise in control surfaces. Hitech Systems provides a number of drop-in hardware modules. You can mix and match these devices as you choose. For example, you can put in the LCD key panel two or three times to build a shot box. We will have a T-bar for slow-mos. We have a transport control, which you can see here, with uh, various functions assigned to it. And as, as I said before, every single function and color of each button and the little joystick can be customized to suit the operational needs. So we have a unique cantilevered hinge. This pivots forwards and allows the operator to have a comfortable and clear way to access the touchscreen on the Avita system. Avita is available in a number of hardware packages and Avita is also available with a touch screen to access the software applications that we provide. Avita can also be supplied as a software only system, but the core to the system, as I mentioned before, is flexibility, customization and sophisticated data management, clip management. So, Avita, it has an optional 10.4 inch touch screen for the clip, ma clip management, which we'll show you in a minute. Um, We've designed that display to be scalable. The chassis of Avita has a second output which can go to a large monitor. When you go beyond four or maybe eight channels, it's not very convenient to use a screen such as the, t the small touchscreen on the panel to manage those channels. So you use a larger monitor, either touchscreen or with a mouse. Avita has a status monitor screen as an option. This is intended to be mounted in the gallery for the director or director's PA to be able to see which clip is playing out of a particular channel, which clip is next, and the status of those clips. It's an option that uh, can be remote from Avita. It's powered from a separate PC, accesses Avita's database via a network. To access setups to customize the panel, and indeed to, to set up the whole of Avita for different servers, different network parameters and so on, we, we just touch the settings tab and that allows us to choose various setups here. I'm going to show you the hardware setup. I select the panel I want to customize. A graphic appears showing me what's currently programmed. To change one of the keys for function or appearance, I simply touch the graphic. This is shown as green and I will just push and I will make it pink. Having selected a button, you can change the function of the button when it is pressed. There's a large drop-down list of functions. To choose one, scroll through the list, press the function that you require. The graphic changes to represent the function that you've just programmed. You can change the color if you wish. The button is programmed. Avita is set up by accessing the system settings. There's the overall system, a number of drop-down menus appear, such as the ability to set the size of the clip display and various, various other parameters, which are obvious when you look at the menus. We can also set the parameters of the server connected to Avita. We can also select servers and set IP addresses and so on of servers on the network. There are choices for clip naming rules. There's the hardware control panel which we've already covered. And lastly there's a built-in browser.
on the quad split on the left hand side we have channel A of the server as you can see it's playing through and now we're going to take a clip from the clip list load it into, into channel A you'll see the clip queue up it can now be played either from the software panel or indeed from the hardware panel as we previously explained once the clip is playing the status monitor starts rolling and you can see the status of the time code it tells you that the clip is in play if there were another clip in the list its uh, parameters would also be displayed so on channel A we have a clip queued it's showing blue indicating that it is queued and ready to go we can play it from the software panel or from the hardware panel color changes to green the clip is playing this is a playlist of just two clips the next one is orange as you can see here it'll turn blue when it's queued it's now queued it turns green moves up the list and is playing the previous clip drops down the list and has turned uh, to a pink color you can, you can therefore clearly see the status of these clips playing queued or stopped <laughs> finished having dropped out of the playlist at the top of the channel display we have two timecode displays the duration of the clip is the lower display the timecode at the top is the running time from from start of clip so if we play that clip in this playlist the top starts incrementing forwards and the bottom one of course counts down when we get to 10 seconds before the end of the clip that will turn red the bottom display will turn red to indicate this and we've set this system for the next clip to be queued up five seconds from the end of this this is adjustable it depends on the server's requirements in terms of the ability to load a clip but we can cater for that with our customization this little icon at the top left of the channel display simply lets you loop the whole playlist or not so if you loop the entire playlist all the structure that you've built previously when it gets to the last clip it'll go back to the beginning and start again you can set the, a particular clip to play and then play the next one play and stop and wait for a command for the next one load the next one and play it or loop it you can assign this to all clips or you can select the clips that this applies to you can delete a clip and you can edit a clip we have a mini transport control it's at the top of the channel display just below the time code it allows you to play the clip go to the start of the clip or go to the end of the clip also in Avita on the, on the screen we have a, a larger transport panel which is activated by touching the, the tab at the bottom of the screen this is a display of time code running of the clip there's a white bar showing progress through the clip and it allows us to mark in and mark out points there's the mark in point and there's the mark out point once we've done that we can go back and review that and there it is going through the timeline again from this panel we can also play stop shuttle vary speed and there's a, a software knob at the bottom for jog or shuttle depending on the function that you've selected the functions of this panel are replicated on the hardware panel of course but sometimes it's easier to use it here or maybe with a software only version it's an advantage to have this on the larger transport panel you can also pull up a record panel this is where you enter your metadata which we can then search for through the uh, search functions of Avita we create a clip with this metadata we can even crash record if the server allows it once the clip is being recorded it's immediately visible in the playlist once it's visible in the playlist depending on the server you can drag it into a channel and start playing it immediately we have a pop-up numeric keypad and a pop-up text keypad so if you press the create clip button the clip is created in the channel indicator at the top below the other clips recording is started as soon as that started at the bottom of the list you should see a clip highlighted in red that can then be dragged into a channel for review we go to the clip list 
at the top of the cliffs list you'll see the search functions. We now ask for a filtered list. Up pops the keyboard, type in some search parameters, in this case AV. The clip list now displays all clips with the letters AV in them. Thank you for watching the presentation on Avita, the flexible control system for growth and change.